A very good morning to you and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Calkine TV Sydney Studios. Now the Australian share market looks set to rise this morning. At the closing bell on Friday, the S&P SX200 was 0.9% lower or 67 points lower at 7,064. Over the week, it lost 0.7% or 47 points. Now on Friday, the best performing sector was utilities. They were up 0.5%. The worst performing sector was information technology. That was down 3.2%. The best performing stock on Friday was Alcom. Their shares closed almost 5% higher at $10.59. The worst performing stock was Zipco. Their shares closed 7.6% lower at $1.57. Now looking to some business news from this morning and Magellan has experienced net outflows of approximately $5 billion and that's since the most recent FUM update on the 25th of February this year which comprised net institutional outflows of $4.7 billion and net retail outflows of $0.3 billion. As at the 11th of March, at the close of U.S. market trading, Magellan had funds under management of approximately $69.1 billion compared to the last reported FUM of $77.2 billion, which comprised $39.2 billion in global equities, $20.4 billion in infrastructure equities, and $9.5 billion in Australian equities. The change in FUM comprised market movements, and that includes foreign exchange and also reflects recent market volatility. And Image Resources has finalized a binding sale and purchase agreement with Sheffield Resources to acquire the McCall's Mineral Sands project. That's 100 kilometers north of Perth in Western Australia. Now, McCall's contains mineral resources estimated at 5.8 billion tonnes of 1.4% total heavy minerals for 84 million tonnes contained total heavy minerals and 75 million tonnes of contained valuable heavy minerals with mineral resource. Total consideration for the acquisition was $12 million in cash paid out of Images' existing cash reserves. An SRG Global has signed a sale implementation deed to acquire WBHO Infrastructure's Western Australian business out of voluntary administration for a net consideration of $15.2 million. Now this is fully asset backed and funded through existing cash and equipment finance facilities. WBHO Infrastructure in WA has historically generated around $150 million of revenue each year. There will be ongoing employment for 275 skilled engineering and operational personnel. Well, on that note, it's now time for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Calkind's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Calkind TV. And welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. Looking over to the U.S. on Friday and all three major U.S. industries fell. The S&P 500 was down 1.3%, the Dow by 0.69% and the tech-heavy Nasdaq fell by 2.18%. The Eurozone is facing pressure to hike rates and this week's CPI and wages data will likely determine if the European Central Bank will pull the trigger. The ECB surprised the market on Friday after deciding to phase out its bond buying program. 
Staying in Europe and the stock's 50 rose 1%. The FTSE was up 0.8%. CAC was up 0.9%. And the DAX was up 0.14%. Meanwhile, as the war in Ukraine enters into its 19th day, commodity prices have stabilized slightly. Spot gold fell 0.4% to 1,988 US dollars in New York. Brent crude was up 3.1% to $112.67 US cents a barrel. US oil was up 3.1% to $109.33 a barrel. And iron ore was down 1.2% to $154 US dollars and 50 cents a ton. In cryptos, Bitcoin is trading at 38,775 US dollars. That was at 8.30 this morning, Australian Eastern Daylight Time, from $39,600 on Friday. That's all for our morning Adler report here on Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.